Hello and welcome back to Music History at Educator.com, our second overall lesson. Um, today we are starting work on the first four parameters of music that I briefly mentioned in the, the first lesson, and that'll be melody, harmony, form, and texture. So let's just jump right in. Well, the parameters of music as a whole are very subjective, all right? That's the one about opinions. But they're, they're labeled um, to give understanding to differences and similarities in music. And they're very useful, especially um, <clears throat> when, you, when you're talking about Western classical music. And please keep in mind, this is Western classical music. This is not world music. This is just Western classical music. Um, please keep in mind that when you're doing such a huge survey course, if you will. Um, but it's kind of important to define these terms before we start. And so these are the ones that I'm coming up with and someone else might kind of change a couple things around. But these are just very general and generic definitions. So this lesson is going to cover definitions of melody, harmony, form, and texture. Just a reminder, when there's a YouTube example, pause the lesson, watch it, come back and resume play. Melody. All right. I'm going to see a lot of hamburgers today. That might be because I was hungry when I created the uh, slides, or it's just a really good way of describing parameters of music. So melody is the tune. It's the singable aspect of a work. All right. That's the one that you walk away from whistling or humming.